And uh, Anthony, you've come to our Dawa table here. This is North London. And uh, your name was Anthony, and you've become a Muslim, and you've changed your name to Abdullah, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Really, okay. And if, sorry, if you just turn around this way, my friend. Okay. And, uh, you, and the reason you became a Muslim is because you knew the Prophet Muhammad was a prophet of Almighty God because you saw this in a dream while you were Christian, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So what did you see in the dream, my friend? Uh, I saw the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about 30 to 40 years old. Um, he was uh, placing his hand on two white tablets, one of which I later found out was the Quran and the other which was, was the Sunnah. Um, he had about neck length hair, uh, swept back hair, black hair, black eyes, uh, very beautiful face, red, reddish face, but, but with light in it, you know, reddish whitish face with light in it. And uh, he was wearing a normal Arab tunic, you know, not not the Arab clothes, but um, you know, like uh, a shirt and and trousers, the way the Arabs wear. Um, and uh, he looked very, very um, beautiful. He was a very, very handsome man. So this is what you saw by the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Yeah. How did you know it was the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? Because at that point you were a Christian. Yeah. So how did you know it was the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? Or any other prophet? Uh, there was something telling me it was the Prophet Muhammad. Not not a voice, but something telling me there was, there was the Prophet Muhammad. Um, something, as I saw the Prophet Jesus as well before. Uh, so there's something telling me that this was Jesus and this was Muhammad. Peace be upon them. And uh, it led me to, to, uh, to respect the Prophet Muhammad as a prophet. Because I, I wasn't sure about it before. I, I hadn't heard much about Islam. I was very uh, new to it, new to the religion, the idea, the ideas of the religion of Islam, and uh, I literally heard next to nothing about it. But I, I, I understood that this was the Prophet Muhammad, the final Prophet. But I didn't accept, I didn't think to accept that that he was he was um, to supersede the the religion of Isa al Islam. So I used to fill up follow Christianity, I used to read the Bible, but I found problems with it. And so I went to Speaker's Corner and met a preacher, and then I became Muslim with the debate that I had with him. Alhamdulillah. So you'd see, already seen Jesus, peace be upon him, in a dream, is that right? Yes, that's correct. And then you saw the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in a dream, and you discovered in the dream that he was a true prophet of Almighty God, is that right? Uh, yes. Yes, I saw. I understood that the Prophet Muhammad was, was the last prophet. So I didn't. I didn't think to follow his message, because I knew so little about Islam. And all I all I knew was that the Bible existed. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know much about the Quran. I, I'd hardly heard about the the uh, the Quran at all. I, I I almost didn't know it was a book. So I didn't think to to read it and you know accept Islam that way. But I, it, I became Muslim very shortly afterwards. Alhamdulillah. And Anthony, sorry, one second, my friend. So it's, it's a private uh, discussion. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry. Yeah. I, can, I can listen. You can listen. You can listen. You can listen. Yes, right. That's right. Okay. Sorry, uh, Anthony. Um, whereabouts are you from, Anthony? Are you from London? Uh, from England? I'm from London. I'm English. Uh, British citizen. I'm. I'm born in London. Uh, I've travelled across Europe a little bit. I've been to America one or two, two, two or three times. Um, I've been to a few places in the Middle East, not many, Egypt, I went to Palestine when I was younger, uh, before I became Muslim. I actually had an experience in Palestine, which made me uh, close to God, made me think that um, I, had a con I, could, I could, you know, connect with God the way the Muslims do, you know, with prayer and supplication and reading of the Quran. Uh, I went to Masjid Al, the the Dome of the Rock Mosque, the Masjid Al Al Aqsa, Masjid Al Aqsa. No, Masjid Al Kabra, I think it's uh, the the Dome of the Rock Mosque. Um, and I I went inside, I kneeled down. It was in between prayers. It was in between about Dhuhr and Asa. I it went inside. I I sat down. And I felt like I could connect with God there, whereas in the churches that I visited with my family before, um, the churches and cathedrals, I... If you, move, if you move around this way a little bit, please, Anthony. I, I didn't feel that I could connect with God. I felt like people, holy people had worshipped there in the past, but that there was something oppressive in it. You know, something, the air, the air above was pr oppressive, whereas I didn't find that in the mosque. So I, uh, it was the first mosque I'd ever been to. Uh, the Dome of the Rock Mosque, and um, 
I found it very uplifting. I felt that that was something which I reflected upon afterwards, which made me want to to research Islam more, more once I become Muslim. And if we just sorry go back to the dream again, uh, what else? Uh, when you saw the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in the dream, how did you feel inside? Uh, did you feel uh, something inside yourself? Uh, yeah, I. Well, I mean, it kind of it 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 made me feel uplifted. You know that that there was there was um. That, that I could I could see that, that I could see the Prophet Muhammad, uh, you know, because uh, it was something which is like it's something special for me, you know, that I could see him and I could uh, see see wit, you know witness myself what what he looked like. Um, this is a very handsome man, you know. Uh, it was 30s to 40s. Yeah, as a people also like your view to believe in that. It's different. Different. You know, um, it was something. It was something a new experience to me, and uh, it's something which gave me hope. With the Prophet Muhammad, when I saw him, I could tell he wasn't like Jesus, but he was follow He was he was sent in the same line, so I could tell that he was a prophet, and I could tell that he was um, there was something special about him. You know, um, the point is that uh, he was. I could tell that he wasn't, you know, a, a son of God or whatever have you, like, like I thought Jesus was. I, I could tell that his there was something different about what he, what he had done. Um, and I found that quite uplifting. Did he say anything to you, or did he smile or anything? No, 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 no smile. It, it was like, uh, it was like uh, hit the uh, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him standing still, uh, just put, placing his two hands on the two white, white blocks or two white books. It was like two white stones. But uh, they, I, I, I didn't think about anything about the stones. I just saw them. Um, and when you saw the Prophet Muhammad peace on your dream, where were you? Were you in London or were you in Saudi Arabia or where were you? I was in London. It was actually around my 18th birthday, um, and I was lying down in, in bed as asleep, and uh, or partly asleep, and uh, uh, the dream, the dream came to me. You know, almost like. Uh, like uh, something off off the top of my forehead, uh, so I could tell that it was some kind of. I, I thought it was some. It made me think it was some kind of inspiration, you know that that um th there was something there was something it was some kind of inspiration, and it's a dream that I can still recall today. That had a very strong impact on me. Where when you met the Prophet Muhammad peace be on him, where were you actually? Were you standing or were you in a? Uh, shopping area? Were you at home? Where, 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 but were you? And where was the Prophet Muhammad? Peace be upon him. I was at home. I was lying down on my bed. And um, he walked up to you. Or? No, I was half asleep. Uh, it was something coming off my forehead. You know what I mean is when you met him, where was he and where were you standing? No, I didn't meet him. It, it was he was standing. He was standing like uh, above me, as if he was in the heaven, um, and it was coming off my forehead. You know um, what? What he was. Uh, 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 what he what he was standing upon, it was like it was from the heaven, um, and it was coming off my forehead that I saw that uh, the, I, I could see the Prophet Muhammad, and um, uh, did he see? Was, did he see you, Anthony? Sorry, did he see you, Anthony? No, uh, no, no, no. It, it was it was as if it, it was something taken from the past and shown to me as a, as the present. So it's something you were seeing from the past, a vision, like a vision. Yeah. You were seeing like a vision. Okay. Sleep, right. And uh, did he look towards you, or he was looking away? He was looking into the horizon, or whatever. Well, where was the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, looking? Uh, I was. He was. He was. He was staring. He was staring as if um, he was staring uh, down, downwards, or that. It, it, it was. His eyes were open, but it, it was like he wasn't staring. It was like it was just he was walking and then stopped, and I could see him doing that. So I didn't meet him, I didn't express words with him, but um, it was something which inspired me to say to feel that he was a prophet, and that, that he was there was there was that he was legitimate before God. It, it, it was uh, he was legitimate before God as a prophet and someone sent by God. And at that point, when you saw the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in a dream, you weren't a Muslim and you were a Christian. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, were you a Catholic or a Protestant? What uh, denomination of Christianity were you? Uh, no, I was Protestant. I, I was I wasn't Church of England because I thought you know they're, they're they're a little bit kind of funny with their interpretation. Most of them believe that Jesus is God, or Jesus is in a Trinity, and uh, I came to those the, that I came to that understanding. Uh, first, when I was 16, I I, I understood that people um, people say that. Uh, when I was 16, I came to understanding that people say that Jesus is uh, God, and when I was 17, I came to understanding that people thought that He was the third of the third God of three gods, as one, or well, third of three as one, uh, to make that clear what the Christians think. And uh, I I didn't want uh, to to follow that because I, I was I felt I felt convinced that that mankind is mankind and God is God and there's a separation between us and him that he's the almighty and we're the creation and Jesus was the creation he was the Christ the Messiah uh, the Messiah peace be upon him and uh, he he was he was a prophet sent sent to us and that we should follow his religion um, so I was Protestant uh, I only I only started believing in Protestant in, in Christianity fully when I was about 15 or 16 and I started reading the Bible when I was about 16, 17 um, but I found problems with it and uh, when I saw I saw Jesus Christ be upon him in a dream also before that um, he had a uh, kind of brown uh, light medium 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 darkness brown hair down to his shoulder uh, he was wearing like a white tunic um, with a with a with a, a belt like a belt, not you know, tunic like a, is like a long shirt. Yes, uh, like a belt, like a like a lo uh, uh, a cloth belt, uh, and 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 tunic down to his legs, the, to, to his ankles, and uh, he was he, he was um, uh, he was he was uh, he was uh, he's a handsome man like the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But he, unlike the Prophet Muhammad he didn't he didn't seem to have he's, the Prophet Muhammad seemed more mature, you know, as if he 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 had uh, more more maturity in what he was he, he had done. Um, uh, but I, I it certainly made me revere the, both of them more. Alhamdulillah. And did the Prophet Jesus, is alayhi salam, did he say anything? Did he see you? Did he smile or anything? No, no, no it was the same thing as the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Uh, but uh, it was um, it was it was something I had I, I had a dream just before about Jesus uh, about half a year or something similar to that before I saw the Prophet Muhammad um, and uh, then I saw the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was it like a dream or, or um, like inspirational dream uh, and I could tell that the Prophet Muhammad had something. Not more wisdom. They were equal on wisdom, but the, the Prophet Muhammad something had something which uh, you know. <coughs> sorry, he had something more about him that that could be witnessed to by mankind. You know, as, as if there's something he had that was he, he had been that the, the two men were equal, but that he had something greater which he'd been sent with. And he looked slightly stronger. They were about the same age, but Muhammad Prophet looked slightly older. Um, but the Prophet looked something like he'd been given something more weighty. Uh, but the, the the two were equal. He had his two hands. One hand. Oh, there were two white tablets, you said, yes. about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him. Sorry, coming back to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him. There were two white tablets? Yeah, two white tablets. With his two hands on them, or? With his hand on them. Okay. And uh, was he pointing to anything with his other hand? No, 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 it was by his side. But he uh, he, lo he looked as if, he looked like uh, it was something he'd, been, he'd brought with him. And I found out later that was the Quran and Sunnah. What did you think in the dream when you saw it? What did you think the tablets were? I didn't know. I, I thought there, were, there was something, some kind of explanation of what he was. But by the end of the dream, you decided, you realized, you were been informed that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is indeed a prophet of Almighty God and he's been sent by God. Is that right? Uh, yes. But you didn't become a Muslim in the dream or soon afterwards. You had to do a bit more research. Is that right? Yes, yes. I, I started reading the Bible. Um, I found problems with it. Uh, 
And so I went to Speaker's Corner to discuss it with the Christians there. And I, I met a Muslim preacher. Um, and I found it difficult to, to not accept what he was saying. You know, um, it, it was as if something had hit home. That you believe the prophet, he, basically he said, he asked me, uh, do you believe in God? I said, yes. Uh, do you believe, uh, uh, would you, which God do you believe in? I said, well, God, because I was, I was kind of monotheist. I wasn't, I didn't believe that there was anything other than God that should be worshipped. Uh, and he said, okay, well, uh, do you believe that the prophet Muhammad is a prophet? And I said, well, yes, because I've seen this dream. And so he said, well, this is the, the, what the Muslims believe. This is what the Muslims believe. So why didn't you become Muslim? And something hit home that this was, that despite how short the conversation was, this was something which was, had struck me as being so, such an argument that I, if I rejected it, it would be a, it would be a witness against my own self. You know, it'd be something against me. So uh, I, uh, you know, it was something that I would regret. It would, it was something I would just, I linger on for a few more months and then say, oh well, I have to do it anyway. So I, uh, I, I said, okay, I'll become Muslim. I raised my hand and said, "Shadu an la ilaha Muhammad Rasulullah," and became Muslim. Never alone.